Extreme Foolishness TV here. This is where I talk about extreme foolishness that goes on around you. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about 13 things that I learned as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The 2020 COVID-19 pandemic. I guess 2020-2021 COVID-19 pandemic. So I put together a list of 13 things. A lot of these things are things that we knew before, but COVID-19 either taught us uh, from scratch or reaffirmed certain things. So without wasting your time, uh, the number one thing that I learned or that we learned, or at least let me just say that I learned from the COVID pandemic is that human interaction is very, very important. When the COVID-19 started, a lot of people were stuck at home. They couldn't get out. Uh, people could not go to work. They had to work from home. Uh, everywhere was shut down. Churches were shut down. Everywhere was shut, was shut down. So after that, people were home watching TV, on their computers, on their phones. People were watching Netflix, consuming data out of the wazoo. As soon as the streets opened up a little bit, people could not even wait to get outside. They were in the clubs, they were in the strip clubs, they were in restaurants, they were everywhere. They just wanted to get outside and interact with other humans. This shows the value of human interaction because before COVID, I don't think there was anything that shut down the entire world. People could not travel, could not do anything after the uh, 2020 lockdown. So. This affirms the value of human interaction. The humans inherently want to interact with each other. And COVID-19 just reaffirmed that. The second thing that I learned uh, from the COVID-19 pandemic is that life is very, very short. Obviously, a lot of people know that. This is more like a cliche. However, COVID-19 pandemic just reaffirmed it and put it out there on front street. A lot of people lost loved ones. 500,000 plus people died. People that you talk to in the morning, bam, the next day, a lot of them caught COVID. Bam, they were on the ventilator. Bam, they were gone. I personally lost two clients to the pandemic. And a lot of people loved loved ones, especially elderly ones in nursing homes. And you heard cases of people in their 30s, 40s, even 20s dying as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. In one second, bam. You're talking to them, the next day they caught COVID, the day after the next day on the ventilator, bam, they're gone. It just reaffirms the obvious that life is very, very, very short. So if anything, COVID-19 is a stock, I mean, is a reminder to everyone that life is very, very short. The third thing that I learned uh, from the COVID-19 uh, pandemic is that you can do better than your current situation. A lot of people had jobs in the restaurants. They had jobs that were paying them slave wages. After that, after the COVID-19 pandemic, they could get unemployment checks. The first round, people were getting 600 bucks a week extra from the feds. So people realized that, hey, I can sit home, make all this money, and... If I go back to my old job, I'm only getting paid seven, eight, nine bucks an hour, flipping burgers, working fast food, waiting tables. So people are like, hold up, I really can do better than this. A lot of people have started, started businesses as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. It gave them time to reflect on their life that they can really do better. There was a story of a lady who started uh, a business consulting online business consulting um, business. She was advising small startups how to set up their LLCs and whatnot. But for the COVID-19, she would not have done this. So the COVID-19 pandemic just made her realize that, hey, you can do better than your current situation. You do not have to stay at that job. That was when the call for increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour came about. Although I don't think it passed, but now a lot of restaurants can't even find people to go back to those jobs because people are realizing that, hey, 
I'm really better than seven, eight bucks an hour. That at the very least, pay me 15 bucks an hour. So a lot of those restaurants and fast food and even some uh, businesses in the hospitality area are finding a hard time recruiting people now because people don't want to go back to those kind of jobs. They can, some people started online businesses, they found all the jobs, they are now on social media, some people start a TikTok page and they are now having a lot of views. So I think that COVID-19 pandemic was one of uh, the reasons why people realized that they could do better than their current situation. Another thing I learned uh, from the COVID-19 pandemic or that the COVID-19 pandemic reaffirmed is that church is more than, more than a physical building. Church, your place of worship. When I say church, I mean your place of worship, uh, the temple, the mosque, any place that uh, people of faith gather to worship. That is just, it's more than a building. Church was shut down for a while. And places of worship were shut down for a while. People had to watch services remotely. Services still went on. Some people just realized for the first time that God actually existed in their house. People did not know. A lot of people didn't know that God is everywhere. Some people just thought that God only exists in the, in the physical structure of church. And if you know about God, at least from the Christian faith, that God is omnipresent, meaning that he exists everywhere. But some people, for some mysterious reason, do not realize this. They feel like they have to go to church in person. Now that COVID hit and churches were forced to close, they had no choice but to worship at home. They had to watch it on Zoom, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, whatever it is that the church, whatever streaming platform the church was streaming their services. And a lot of pastors and a lot of religious leaders had to adapt and accommodate to this new reality that church it's most likely going to be something that will be done remotely going forward. And a lot of people have been watching service from home. They're not going back to the actual uh, in-person service. And it's fine. God is still there. God is still at home. It took COVID-19 pandemic for some people to realize that. Hey, to me, that is one of the most important Lessons of the COVID-19 pandemic. Another thing I learned from the COVID-19 pandemic is that liquor stores are more essential than churches. When the lockdown happened, churches were shut down because they did not want people to gather there for fear of COVID-19. Obviously, grocery stores and, um, and uh, grocery stores were open, farmer's market were open because people have to eat. That is obvious. However, Liquor stores were also open. Liquor stores were wide open. They were essential business. Just imagine that liquor stores were closed. People will have descended into serious depression. At least when the lockdown happened, people could stay at home and drink, enjoy alcohol from the comfort of their homes. Restaurants were allowed to sell alcohol for takeout. So, if anything, COVID-19 taught us is that liquor store is more of an essential business or an essential place than church. I know some people find it hard to believe, but that is exactly what it showed us. That if you have to shut down a liquor store or a church, you have to pick one. During a pandemic, you better believe the church will get shut down first. Or a house of worship will get shut down first before a liquor store. Because a liquor store is an essential business. People need alcohol to survive. If COVID-19 has taught us anything, it's that if you did not learn a new skill, the reason for not learning that new skill was not because you didn't have time. It was because you were a lazy person. After the lockdown, people had so much time on their hands. You could learn a new skill, you could read books, you could improve your life with that time. Learn to play a new instrument, learn how to code, 
learn how to trade stocks, cryptocurrencies, whatever new skill you wanted to learn, you could get on YouTube University, go online and acquire that skill. But if you did not acquire that new skill with all the downtime that you had after the lockdown, the reason you haven't learned that new skill is because you're lazy. It's not because you did not have time. Because people had way too much time on their hands. Some girls just learned how to dance on the poles. Some girls learned how to twerk. Some girls learned so many new skills that you could see all over social media. So if you did not acquire a new skill, i.e. maybe improved your twerking skills or improve your dancing skills or improve your pole dancing skills, that means that the reason you haven't learned those skills is because you probably just too lazy, didn't want to, it wasn't because you did not have enough time. So COVID-19 pandemic exposed people who have been claiming that they did not have time to learn a new skill, that they were just making up an excuse. That the reason they have not learned that new skill was because they were lazy or they just don't have the desire to learn 